Welcome back to the Easy Boys Podcast. This is podcast number five. Thanks for joining us. Let's jump right into things. How's everyone? Dive right in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yep. We've had an eventful weekend. Let's like let's what's going on? You know, how's everyone? Breaking feeling? into the football game. How did that go down? Brendan and Logan have a great story to tell. Brett and I. Okay. I'll start it out. Yeah. There you go. Start it off. Yeah. I'll start it out. We wanted to go to this football game, and it was halfway through the game. And the ticket booth was closed. So we showed up there and there was no way to buy a ticket. I will preface this by there's no way to buy a ticket. So we still had to get into the game. So Brett and I, we found a spot to jump the fence and we jumped in. And it was like we were there the whole time. We just walked right in. It was, like there was, it was so smooth. Me, Easy. Me and we walk by Brennan and Logan who are on this balcony. We're in the game. They see us. We're standing up there. I was wondering like where did you guys go? And then we're looking, you know, and all of a sudden we see you guys walk by. We're like, what? <laughs> yeah, you guys were walking by. This, I'm like, no way. So then we were like, we got to try to get in. So I called Brett, and then you were like, yeah, just jump this uh, fence or whatever right here and then walk by. So I'm like, oh, easy, right? Logan and I walked down there, <clears throat> jumped the fence, and then met by like three cops. Like, where are you guys coming from? We're like, so oh, you I jumped know, the, back there. Like, you yeah. jumped the fence, and there's just cops everywhere. Yeah, because I know it was like a about. VIP thing. And yeah. he's like, where are you guys coming from? We're like, back there. He's like, Get the half out of here. The spot that we jumped Very the fence right away. and where we were trying to walk out, it was like this big gated spot and it was where all the security guards hung yeah. out. We literally just jumped the fence and walked out. No, there was right. actual, <laughs> actual cops. Like yeah. these yeah. were even security. There were just cops at the game. Yeah, so then he was like, get the F out of here just being super violent right away mm-hmm. off the bat. So we're like, okay. And that's where we took it personal. Yeah. Very personally we took it. Mm-hmm. So then we like jumped back over and for some reason like we, we j- hopped a different fence. Or no, maybe, I know I followed two guys in, so I'm like, oh, they're just walking through these fences, so like, I was following them, cop sees me, so he's like, he made it personal Oh, too. you tried to get into the main way, I know exactly, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you guys tried to get in right into the main that way. that cop, it was cop first. flips around, and I just see him just like, I don't know how he turned around so fast, but he was just like, already in motion, like running after me. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, he's going to tackle me. Like, <laughs> like I, yell, I yell to Logan, I turn around, I go, Logan, we have to run. So Logan and I start hopping these fences, running up and down the stairwell. He's radioing around. I don't, he took it really personal for just... I remember when we to run, too. Yeah. We went deep down in, into, like, the back parts of wherever we were at the stadium. And, like, there, we'd see a, a cop, like, in the area, like, <laughs> on the radio, yeah. one of these guys. Like, we'd yeah, just be tur- it, taking turns. It was it took it so personal. Yeah, like, what's going on here? Joe Dirt and Napoleon Dynamite were trying to break into a football yeah, that's game. that's what it was. People were just scared. Like, we, don't, we shouldn't allow these kids in here. Yeah, yeah. something they had to happen. happen. Yeah. They, they saw you guys jumping over where the chi ladies were. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong place. Yeah, yeah yes. Logan's been caught a few times like, looking up cheerleader skirts. So yeah. like, oh, they yeah, saw him. Stay away from the cheerleading crowd. Yeah. If you had jumped in like that football player. Okay, but to get the story going, how time. how did you actually end up getting in? Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was his main gate. Like that security guard left for a split second, so Logan and I just scurried in, and then that cop was way down. Two the little right. rats scurried yeah, in. Yeah, off we, in, off we go. We're yeah, in. and then we met up with you guys, and then. That was it was just whatever, but that was kind of that was pretty funny as far as our weekend went. No, but Kyle and I, we our plan was not even to sneak in. Like Kyle's like, "Oh, do you have to go to the bathroom, Brett?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's let's go to the bathroom." We go down the stairs. I'm like, I see this little fence in Biffy's. I'm like, Kyle, let's let's just jump in. That's easy. And he's like, oh, I kind of hesitated, waited yeah. for people to walk by, jumped in, just snuck through Biffy, and just walked like act like we went to the bathroom, went and go pee. It's but, like we came out of a Biffy right into a football game. Yeah, but it was sick. I was kind of nervous on jumping the fence. I had a buddy in high school. or Yeah, high school. We were trying to sneak into a football game, and he just tore his sack right over, ripped it open on a fence. Stop. Yeah. His whole sack? His whole sack. Ripped like, it open. You're going to have yeah. to tell me off camera who that What was. came out of did it? His, um, did his balls pop up? A yeah, couple balls eggs were cracked hanging, on the yeah, and then Yeah. He, they're mm. hanging out of his sack. <laughs> no. Yeah. And that's what scares me about jumping fence yeah. those they have those barbed wires yeah just rip that thing what scares open. me in day to day life about that is there was a kid that did the splits and <laughs> ripped his bag open that scares me because I can actually do the splits I know but he I probably was not flexible I think open. he was like in the, like in a like a did he stepping into like a sideways? bath no he was like stepping into a bathtub and then he just <laughs> yeah he slipped so he off. slipped on some shampoo ripped yeah. his sack mm-hmm. open Probably conditioner, it's a little yeah. bit more slippery. Or, yeah, whatever. All right, that's disgusting. <laughs> Very disgusting. Wow. So, daily life, you got to be careful, Kyle. Yeah. yeah, men, be careful out there. Mm-hmm. Don't jump fences. Ladies, out. you just don't know. They don't know. 
Yeah, what did, yeah, what did they struggle? I guess they could make themselves have one crack, but, you know, it's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot different. You know what's funny? Is I know some people that street the uh, football game back in our hometown. I was at the game. I was in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was on the field. I was in the game. <laughs> but, um... I won't even say any names, but he jumped the fence and he rolled his ankle. So I feel like Brett, like you were saying, like he jumped the fence and like some other kid ripped his balls open. Yeah, so jumping. he's got to be really lucky. Just like, oh, I only rolled my ankle. Jumping yeah. fences is dangerous out there. Like you need to be careful. <clears throat> I remember I had to grab it. It was like dang, I, like, I stuffed him back in there. Like you did. Right? No, I'm serious. Did you throw one in your mouth? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. I was like, it was like life or death. That was when I was going to. Nursing school, you know, I thought I knew what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Had a, but he's fine. He can still have kids this day. He had a couple kids. All they good. just sewed it right up, and mm-hmm. bam, he's all good as new. Yeah. It's Probably crazy. scared to jump fences still. Oh, yeah. I would. Was it interesting for you guys to be at a football game in Hawaii? It's such a different atmosphere. Like, they'll score a touchdown, and they'll just start yelling, Yes, sir, brother! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> First down, yes, sir. Third down. Like, it's so different. Bro, we might be white, but we local. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's different, but it's it some cool. local boys. And you know what we realize is, like, we respect these NFL players so much. It's such a different level of gameplay. I don't, play. really. All four oh. of us. Put us, put us. We were talking about it at lunch break. Put us four on the Vikings, yeah. and the Vikings is a Super Bowl team. I'm All right, sure. everyone okay. share their role on an NFL team. We'll start okay. with Brad. Yeah, I'm the QB. I'll be slinging. How slinging. tall are you, first of all, before you can just say you're QB? You can't just <laughs> so, throw yourself in this position. So, so with bad. cleats and like I'd have an extended sole, I'd probably be 5'9". Okay, so you're so Kyler Murray. With, with, with the helmet on, cleats on. You'd probably you're, be five. You're seven. brushing 5'9", almost. All right. So you'd so be the shortest chuck. quarterback in the NFL history, but you would... No, but we can chuck Brett that up. Brett has an arm. That's I fine. Chuck that's that up to six foot. That's, that's fine. The that's the funny thing about football. I'm five foot ten, according to you Rockford. You know why that's fine? Yeah. And you you're five be, foot six? And yeah, 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 and what are you, <laughs> four one? No, they, 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 <laughs> added, they added about, it. Oh, we'll say two inches. <laughs> okay. it's, and it works, though, because when your center is only five nine... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me, this is where I come in. I'm the center. Yeah. I snap the ball Brett. How much do you weigh? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm like 147. Oh, so you're a big center. <laughs> yeah, big. So I'm the center, and I hike the ball to Brett. I get low. The guy in front drops down. He's tripped up. Brett has an open tunnel vision lane. That's where my he open lane. Yep. Mm. And, and here comes Brendan. Here comes Here comes me. Brendan on a slant. Yeah, I'm, I'm WR1. Yep. I'm yep. sitting out there. Yep. You run to the six middle. Six foot on a good day. Yeah, I just run. Boom, in shoes, six slot. foot on a good right day. Right through that tunnel where, yeah. where, <laughs> where I'm on the ground yeah. and the other guy's on the ground. And there Brett throws there the happens day. to be no corner there either. <laughs> I'm wide open. No one jammed him at the yeah. line, keep in mind. And if for some reason like there's like a fumble or something because someone else on our team, not uh, not one yeah, of us would makes never a mistake. Be us. I know that won't be us. Here's where I come makes in. Makes a mistake. Kyle will return the punt the, for the, us. <laughs> the next team, because our defense is so good, maybe I play both sides of the ball. You mm-hmm. know, you don't even know. But they go three and out. I'm there to return the punt. I forget to fair catch it all the time. And I get, I'm good at getting leveled. Like mm-hmm. I can take a beating. Yeah, you can. Just That's my roll. role. Yeah. But what, yeah. Great at catching it and then just taking a beating. I feel like you should, <laughs> I feel like you should just work on like a fair punt. You know, like a fair cut. I don't like raising my arms in the air. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't really enjoy. (laughs) I don't really enjoy it. (laughs) So that Uh, might be your strong suit. I like to just. I like to just catch it and run or get leveled. You know, it's one of the two. No, I guarantee you. you, Football. (laughs) No, I. Here's a guarantee coming out of Brett. I need to hear it. Let's hear it. I guaranteed you. Like, I could bump Kirk Cousins right out of that lineup. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's then, a wild, wild mm-hmm. statement. And Kirk you know Cousins is a little bit too good. You know, I would no, pick I a lesser it. quarterback. No, you, you know, know I believe it. Listen, I believe it, too. If I have Logan as my center, that's all I need. Dude, this is but where the dynamic at, comes in. This is, me at wide receiver one. Mm-hmm. Don't leave me out of this. Because well, I'm, Jefferson I'm, would be out of there. I'm just getting... I'm just... I'm just... Saying what I'm getting to you. You're probably bigger you. than Jefferson. Honestly, you should kick him out. Way bigger than Jefferson. So I'm in the pocket, right? Blue 18, 19, set! Logan's already, he knows, every, we've yeah. been together so long, mm-hmm. he knows, like, set. Oh, it's almost to the T, and yeah, he knows tones. to hike it. 
Yeah. We get them drawn offsides. Boom. Yeah. The best cut blocker in the game is Logan Davison. Mm-hmm. So do you go for knees and, and ankles? That's your special. So, that, so first off, if we wanted to, we're in so in sync that we could just offsides all the way down to the goal line. Yeah. yeah. So we get to the goal line. <laughs> yeah, we're goal line players. Yeah. Oh, you guys are, you guys yeah, we get to the goal line, here's what we do. So Brett, being the you know smaller guy he is, yep. We're so in sync, right? The guy and that, you're so the, the guy I'm facing off against. Even know I'm so low. Yep. He's actually looking at Brett because I'm invisible to him because <laughs> I'm down low. He forgets about you. Yep. I hike the ball to Brett. Immediately, I'm at the guy's knees. Yep. At his knees, elbow to his right knee would be. <laughs> he falls over. He's off balance. His knees probably in shambles. QB sneak. Yep. Logan. Brett goes up the middle over me. QB sneak. And, yep, yep. Jumps off the guy's back. Boom, touchdown. Yep. Logan Every is time. the reason offensive linemen now have stats. Logan mm-hmm. Davison in his two years in the NFL, mm-hmm. 23 meniscus tears on opponents, mm-hmm. four ACLs, mm-hmm. and 10 MCLs. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. The best cut blocker to ever. No, it's actually sad that I'll never be able to sling a ball in the NFL. Yeah. Or we'll all be in there. No, yeah. Brett has a great arm. I've caught about mm-hmm. 20 playground passes yeah. from him in, yeah, like, a week. Yeah, just like, chuck bombs. He was well, a don't, slinger. Here's a good idea. Next summer, when is Vikings uh, camp? I don't know. June or something? June? Do they have tryouts? That's the question, and you guys need to get the easy boys on the field trying out. <laughs> We're chasing our NFL dreams yep. out here. No, but we could just go make such a like a such a funny vlog going to the camp and just you know at that point we'll have that we'll have enough clout so where we can just go and you know at start, least go there for one day. Start tagging the Minnesota Vikings and Green Bay Packers to get us on the field mm-hmm. for a tryout. I'm ready to go. Need, I got if, those hands. If need be, I'll go kick Aaron Rodgers out of his spot in yeah. Green Bay. If yeah. need be. If need be. Yeah. yeah. If they, if if they you are saying play, yeah. Aaron Rodgers is yeah. not as good as you. What he doesn't what he doesn't have on me is the deep ball. Because I'll just go deep. Snap the ball. And Where does that power come from? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Probably, probably upper arm, lower rib cage. Longest throw like, you could do. See what you guys. I can, I can get 35 yards. Time well, you guys out, are I'm underestimating about here. Brendan. Well, you guys are underestimating about Brendan. So Brendan snaps the ball right. He chucks it right away as soon as he steps back. <laughs> that thing goes so high. Well, that ball goes so high that everybody thinks it went out of bounds. Yeah. Meanwhile, you have Kyle running deep down. Oh, I'm yeah, very you know. quick. I will everybody's shoot. like, oh yeah, the ball's. Yeah. He threw it away. Yeah. He threw it away. Nope. That thing lands right and ends up yeah. right in Kyle's hands like this. Yeah. That's all I do. That's what, that's, that's, my that's how much of an arm Brennan yeah, has. That's so my specialty. Quick, quick snap and the yeah. balls. <laughs> Gone. Everyone, oh, he threw it out of bounds. Yeah. Why did he do that? You guys around scratching the head. I have, a, are done chasing. I have a smooth transition <laughs> into a new topic. Smooth transition. We were at this football game, whatever, the Hawaii football game. These two girls get on the field, and all they had to do was throw it like 25 yards to each other in a circle mm. to get free Raisin Canes for a year. It wasn't even 25 yards. These girls could been. not throw 15 yards. Yeah, we mm. must have been getting chased by the. Cops. Yep, you were getting chased by cops at this point. So <laughs> it was so bad. Was These so girls, bad. she was, she no. threw it with all her might. She got low, threw it with all her might. It went 15 yards, sputtering. Wow. Yeah. That brings up. That made me think. Andrew Tate would love to see this. Mm-hmm. He would love to see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. we should have video. It proved it. every every point in physicality that Andrew Tate said. Mm-hmm. It blew my mind. They could not throw it 15 yards. Wow. Yeah. 15 yards. Yeah. And she's, she, the girl, the catcher, like, standing in a hula hoop, and the girl, like, she couldn't move and catch it, but he wouldn't even reach her. It wouldn't even get it was within. like 10 yards. It was so far away from her. It was like, is she is she throwing to her? Yeah, it was terrible. I are feel these, bad. Are these college girls? Yeah. They're college girls. She was a small girl, I will say. She Wait, was small. 15 yards I come through? Yeah. No. No, not even fifty. Like, like, like Brennan, it sputtered in the air and just fell. Like, so it's probably like a, like kind of like a funny. Joke realistic, to probably it like eighteen yards. Like it was like a very short throw. Like, yeah. And it was everything she had. You have Aaron Rodgers out here throwing fifty-yard bombs yeah. into the end yeah, zone. Yeah, just barely. Sixty-yard bombs into yeah. the end zone, just slinging it. You know, yeah. that's the reason why there's, there's a reason why there's no female in NFL or any. I'm so curious to watch oh, yeah, girls yeah. football. You know, they have the bikini league. I'm so curious. That's like that. rugby, isn't it? Like, do they throw it I don't ever? Know. I've seen Kyle up late at night watching Bikini League, okay. so I don't, yeah. I don't know. He <laughs> acts <laughs> like, 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 like it's new. Yeah, let's hear about it, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's hear all about okay, it. Okay, well, I didn't really watch now. the football that much. So <laughs> yeah, I can't really tell you. You never saw him throw. I don't know. I think it's all just like for show. I know there's girls out there that can throw, oh, yeah. but it's so rare. Because like I've played I've catch been. with girls that can throw, but it's rare. I've watched a ESPN 
highlight clip, this girl threw a burrito into the stands. I don't know if any of you guys watch that. I would say she probably threw it on like 50, 55 yards. Like she was on a basketball That's court, impressive. That's probably more me. Yeah, a burrito too and just whipped it. A burrito is so easy to throw compared to a football though. I know, but Some girls have yards, weird strength. There are some, some of those weird, a lot of. Yeah. I don't want to bring race into it, but there Oof. there is some girls that can really throw. Like all my sisters are athletic; they can throw balls. And... Yeah, yeah. But like all the girls like I've been with, they can't even throw a ball more than five feet. You know what girls are better at is uh, gymnastics. That's what I'll say. No, to me, to me. All I, the guys, there's like professional gymnastics. All the dude, guys. Are, guy no, I put respect. Listen, oh, I put I, respect on girls' gymnastics. I watched this girl do flips on a beam, and I was like. I was in shock. Watch the guys gymnastics. Oh, I'm sure the guys are not. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. Well, girls well, are just naturally like more flexible. Brett's <laughs> 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 very invested in guys. Yeah, I know gymnastics. all about guys. He knows their names, their height and weights. Yeah. Like he's in, he follows them all on Instagram. Yeah. It's no, creepy. I don't know guys to gymnastics. No, I, I honestly I just not seen, know that until now. Maybe there's not like a pro sport of guys gymnastics, but I've seen like clips on like Instagram. Do you know what of kind of shook me? Some guys flipping around on the cheerleader. Whatever. No, the cheer- yeah, the, uh, there's a lot of gay cheerleaders. The, guys. the cheerleaders at the Hawaii game, like a lot of the girls were hot. Like the the real cheerleaders, I know. Yeah, I know. I, but the real ones were mm-hmm. hot. But what blew my mind is uh, the ones who get spun in the air. They they were not more than five feet tall. Oh, they're like three foot eight. Like like they're like actually like four ten. Like, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But well, it yeah, makes man, sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Like you just fling them up in the air and they're doing these. Flips. Imagine flinging up it a two hundred pounder. It was mm-hmm. so cool. Yeah, actually, so that's where it becomes a, like a problem. You know? That's <laughs> yeah. why they're not throwing. Right, they throw a Logan Davison in the air. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're getting flattened. Yeah, yeah. throwing any. You're not catching me when I come down. I'll say that. Yeah, he's, a, he's an offensive lineman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a center. No, a center. <laughs> yeah. Center. <laughs> center. Uh, yeah. Dude, on a real note, I got the privilege of like going to watch uh, the Vikings practice one day, and what blew it. Shook yeah, my it shook my brain apart how big those NFL players actually are. Oh, they're huge. Jarek McKinnon, shout out to you. Uh, he yeah. was my height, not <laughs> not that big, and uh, his legs, his legs. I'm not <laughs> kidding. You were the size of two of mine. Yeah, I know. On a, like he looked like he looked like you chopped down a tree halfway, stuck them on his legs, and that was him. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you're finally starting to show me a little bit of respect. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're so, they're actually so big, they're so big. <laughs> Logan, you have the skinniest legs besides Brett I've ever seen. Oh, that's a diss. Well, Kyle, does he have the skinniest legs? Kyle, I will put 150 bucks down that I can squat more than you. All right, if you want to see it in the vlog, comment down below. Oh, we'll have a squat I'll put off. 150 bucks on it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna shake. I'll on steal it? his yeah. money. I'll shake on it. Oh, this is real. Yeah, it's real. This is real. Because here's Logan's squat. It's all his back. He's not going to use his legs. Okay. I mean, whatever. So it's a, it's a, it's a legit squat. Wait, yeah, We're talking. Squat. Your legs are doing the work. Should we do this tomorrow? Yeah, we should go to the gym and do it. Yeah. We can okay. squat more. All right. This is. Granted, I do have skinny legs too. Let's state that. I'm making fun of you, but my legs are probably no bigger. <laughs> I but I still am confident I'll squat more. So if you squat Knee more. Knee injuries and all. 150 bucks you'll give Logan if he. Can squat more than you? Yeah. Logan, what's your most you've ever squatted? Probably like 425. No, like a real number. <laughs> I know it's I, not more than 250. Okay. I'm not sure, Yeah, to be honest. Probably 225, like two plates. More than that. Okay. I've had a, I, my most is a little more than that, too. Yeah. So not, oh, not so by a lot. <laughs> this, this might be good. This might be good. Yeah. I will win. That's the funniest part. Ooh. Can, it, can we rebound it by who can bench more, though? Like, mm-hmm. like, no, like, this is squatting. Like, we're talking about we could legs. do we could do who lifts the most between bench, deadlift, and squat. No, you're not getting on this 150 bucks. He guys right. shook on it. Yeah, this is a squat thing. I'll pop yeah. my knee out of place to win. <laughs> <laughs> what the? No, it'll be funny though. Regardless if Logan wins, that'd be cool. Um, what I wanted to talk about today on the podcast: top five rappers. Top five. Top. Do you do you not are you not like well educated in the rap game? Not really. Or I just I have so like, we'll say top three. Top I have three like f- f- probably honestly in my album I probably have sixty different people. Who yeah, twenty of them are girls. Half yeah. of the songs are Katy Perry. Yeah, yeah. So like, it might not be the most valid opinion from Brett. Top five rap artists. Top three rap artists. Rap. Yep. Um, I'll start it out. Number one, Eminem, shout out, it was his birthday today or yesterday. 
That's number one for me. Mm-hmm. Number two, Mac Miller. Mac Miller, really? Yeah, that's kind of a wild card to say for rap artists, but yeah, Mac Miller's my number two. Both of them are white. I don't know what that says about me. Uh, so you're racist. <laughs> you're racist. No. Uh, and number three. I'll number, get mine next. Number three will be Kendrick Lamar. Eminem, Mac Miller, Kendrick Lamar. It's mine. Um, mine is Grant McDonald, number one. Respectable number, choice. Yep. Yeah. He makes I, really good yeah. beats. Shout out to him. He doesn't yeah. get the respect. Wait, Grant McDonald, where can I find him? Anywhere. YouTube. What's Ram one Ranch. of his famous songs? Ram Ranch. What's that about? I don't know. Just random stuff. Look number up. two, Eminem. And then number three, <laughs> Kodak Black. You know respect. People do not give Kodak their respect. I love Kodak. Yeah, I, do. I love Kodak. And yeah, Little Baby. I like yeah, all. he's good right now, but like I'm talking overall. No, to be honest, probably... Wiz Khalifa, Tyga, and Kodak Black are in. Okay, let's hear Brennan. MGK. I know Brennan's thinking Orif Logan has them. I'm ready. thinking right now. Okay, <laughs> Brennan, you gotta I just spit them. I, yeah, I can't like really pick. I could probably name Brennan's because I listen to so much of his music, but let's hear it. Um, My guess, Eminem, Wiz Khalifa, Tyga. But you go. Uh, <laughs> I'd probably say... Yeah, what you said. That's that's, that's I knew it. pretty accurate. I knew it. So why why do you guys think Eminem is on all of our lists? He's not on my list. Oh. 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 Okay, Joe Dirt. Let's hear it. <laughs> yeah, Joe Dirt. Let's hear it. So my list is uh, Wiz Khalifa, um, Snoop Dogg, Jason Aldean, and uh, <laughs> LeBron James. LeBron has never came up with a song. And Mac Miller. Okay. There you go. No, it's a respectable list. Snoop Dogg, I uh, I know people love him that are from his area, and like in general, people love Snoop Dogg. But I know people of the area he's from in California love him. Do you think those rappers that talk about guns, drugs, and money are actually doing that kind of stuff? So I have a theory. Oh, I think I go. I think I know why rappers blow up. So I believe the the rappers they get so into this. Uh, making money off drugs and gangs that they're making so much money that they start to f- get this ego and like that attitude that they have in their songs and then like they also gain respect where people will listen to them and uh they're able to rap about those things like after making money off drugs that's my theory so yeah i do i do think they lived that life at one point or have been around it yeah and then they have the money to pursue what they have they... the money to go in the booth and record a hundred yeah. songs and get that those reps in. Yeah, because there's a lot of bad songs out there. Like, you, my, like a favorite. Well, I heard the song. Rapper Oletto song. And it's like, oh, this is so dumb. Lil Yachty released the song Poland, and I, I played it. I know it's trending right now. I played it. I thought, I was like, this is awful. I have, yeah. never, I have never, ever in my entire life liked Lil Yachty. I really? Love, I, I love Lil Yachty. I spy. I love it. Hey, Kyle. I've been with Kyle. Kyle Snapchatted me, by the way. Yeah. A few times. But uh, I've been with him since day one, so yeah, respect on Lil Yachty, respect on Kyle. Kyle who? Kyle. Super duper Kyle. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. He's, he's he created I Spy. Oh, really? Yeah. He snapped right you. Yeah, he snapped. So I, I broke my leg, and I, was, I told him I was going to go to his concert on crutches, and he snapped me back, like, saying, you got this, bro. And then I snapped him. This was when I was young, like, probably, like, 14. And uh, I snapped him again saying, like, I'm in your hometown. I was just a little fanboy mm-hmm. of Venture. And he snapped me back, like, yo, that's sick. I got to get, I got to go back there soon. I thought that was so cool, dude. Yeah. Like, Snapchatting me back, like, that's cool. sick. That's how I want to be. A fan for life. I want to be like that forever, you know, yeah. no matter what we do. That is pretty cool. Changing, I don't know how I started thinking about this. Don't even ask me how, why I thought of this. But, you know, like, uh president that got assassinated by James Will, Will Abraham Spruth. Lincoln. Yeah. Abe Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah. People were saying, so I read an article the other day and they were saying that 
Um, James Will Booth. I don't even know if I know him saying his name right, but they were saying he it's, was I even it, nowadays wait, Leonardo DiCaprio. I think it's John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth. What was I saying? James. <laughs> <laughs> James. Okay, so, but I was reading an article and I thought it was so interesting. They are like, James Wilk. James, John. John's. John. I'll just say John. John, John, John Wilkes Booth. Just say John, though. I'll just say John, yeah. yeah. They are saying John would be like a nowadays Leonardo DiCaprio. And I was thinking, I'm like, how is that possible when you have, like, no internet or anything? Was he just a guy in plays? You know, like, was he just doing, like, these... You know what I mean? I thought... Like, because Abe Lincoln was, like, alive, I don't even know what year, like, seven, you know? Wait, where'd you hear this from? I was reading I th- an article on it the other day. I thought John he was... He was a big deal. I thought um, he was, like, just some random little no, worker. No, 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 He was a big deal. What? Yeah, he Why was, like, he an Why would he assassinate actor. Abraham Lincoln? I don't know. Oh... Why would I? I don't money. Know. Everything comes with money. You can do guaranteed. Someone paid him. Oh, I'll give you ten million back then, or say a million back then was forty million today. If someone gave him a million. Hey, go assassinate this guy. He probably didn't even realize he was the president. You know, just go shoot this guy. No, he knew he was the president. Well, how do you know? He was giving a speech at Ford Theater. He knew thought, he was the president. No, he was watching a play. No, he was watching a play. He came up behind his head, but yeah. he did know he was the president, and he was very against him. A lot of people were against Lincoln. He was trying to free all the slaves. Okay, that slavery. makes sense. Yeah, and that yeah. that was ruining a lot of farmers' amount of money they were making. Yeah, plantation owners. I know, but, but I, my biggest thing was is like he was nowadays Leonardo DiCaprio. He'd be like DiCaprio assassinated by him. So so Don was he was huge. so what the saying is what he was a huge actor at the time. Yeah. He was huge. I was reading an article on it. He was like, people were like signing, like he was signing autographs. I wonder what and motivated him then. That's money, what I was thinking money. too. I'm like, but he was already making money. Fame. He could have been in debt. A lot of actors go in debt. Listen, I know, but this is not like he could have been obsessed with fame. And look, we're still talking about him today. He is uberly famous, so famous. Everyone knows his face. Actually, I have no, I've never known. Oh, I can pick, bring his face right really? to my mind. Yeah. So it could have been fame. But money is, really is the root of all evil, evilness. Yeah. So he could have been, you know, hurting someone off some plantation. Of guys like, hey, yeah, you want to make a big deal a, about uh, this? Go, go assassinate this guy. You know Back then, and whenever he got assassinated, there was no camera, or anything. Do you know it's not good. I know. Not That's like the Wild West. That's yeah. always so interesting. Do you know what's sick about it is uh, Abe Lincoln survived like so long after really? he was shot. There, there are stories of him. Just, he, he was laying in his bed as he was dying, like with a bullet in his head. Really? And like everyone he loved was around him, and he's talking. I don't know what, what? he said, but I know he survived a long time after he was shot. Did he say like free those sla- like free the slaves? Like what? No, I don't know. But what's cool? Because that's Abe is he's the tallest president ever. He's like six four back in a time where like everyone was like five six. And he wore a really big he hat. Was so such he was a savage. Came off at like seven foot. Yeah. I thought I heard though too is Abraham Lincoln actually didn't even, he didn't uh, free slavery. Really. Whoa, where did that come from? No, because he wrote like a act to free slaves. So I was like the speech of Gettysburg a- is uh, literally him like freeing slaves. I thought I did a. Fifth grade, you know how you do those book reviews or whatever, mm-hmm. or whatever it was. I did it on Abraham Lincoln. He wasn't okay. Maybe he wasn't the president that actually freed the slaves. Let me look he it was up. He the president this... during the Civil War, which freed the slaves after the Civil War. Yeah. Okay, keep talking. I'm gonna look was... this up. So yeah. Abe Lincoln that essentially was, did. That was why the Civil War was fought. Because Harriet Tubman, all those people were booling around. Abe Lincoln was a great man. Yeah, the Emancipation Proclamation. Yeah, that's what I did on, but something I don't know what I'm thinking about. You'll have to look it up for your on your own viewers, cause <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're, like the least we're uneducated. People. Yeah, we're like the least factual people. I just read an article. Bro, let's make some it, more stories up. No, it just I just read an article on uh, John, the guy that killed oh, Abe Lincoln. Yeah, dude, and I read Lawrence an article. Booth. I read an article that Abe Lincoln could 360 dunk. Like he could do a 360 and dunk it. You don't believe it. So, only Lincoln did was freed the slaves that against the United States. He enslaved people in areas in rebellion against the United States. Or Bottom line, Abe Lincoln is a great man. He had a sick beard. He had a sick beard. I don't know. And a sick hat. He was such a cool guy. I guess guy. I don't know. I don't remember fifth grade too much. 
I will automatically like anybody that had a sick beard and a sick hat like Abe Lincoln. And his name was Abe. I mean... Such a powerful name, yeah. Abe. Abraham. Talk about a stud, dude. So, what's this I've been hearing about Russia is, like, threatening the nuclear bomb on Ukraine? That's what I heard, too. So, I was hearing at work today. Putin was dropping... He's dropping his sack everywhere? So... Putin, Putin. I don't know. I'm not. I don't even look at the news ever. Do you? Like, I know. We don't. don't care we, which we should because we're doing a podcast. <laughs> I. Uh, the Putin. Putin. I've heard he's like dying. Like it's a rumor. I don't know if it's true, but I heard he's dying. And uh, when you're dying, you become like, I don't know if suicidal is the right word, but like you don't care about the risks as much because well, of course like, you I'm don't not, yeah. exactly. And so, like, for him to be in power, that it actually scares me. Like, well, we already came up with our plan. <clears throat> yep, let's hear it. Yeah, we did. I remember it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if Putin gets out of control, and someone needs to go take care of him, there's either sending me, Brett, or Logan over there. Oh, but we kind of. Oh, you, 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 yeah, you, yeah, you weren't part of the there, conversation. So, yeah. yeah, you didn't get so, to. Okay. So we kind of volunteered Brett as tribute. So what basically what we do. <laughs> Is we, we somehow get Brett on a on a black blackbird because you know how they yep. fly so high above Earth that there's mm-hmm. no like yeah no you radar can't fly here yeah so Brett gets we tape him onto a back of a blackbird I don't know how how eighty thousand feet in the air you are or something like that fly over Russia so but at approximately <laughs> Brett will have to jump out mid ocean because that's how you know. This is what he's doing. Brett's, re- Brett's really aerodynamic. Once yeah. you're out of the equation, yep. Brett doesn't yeah. need one. Just no parachute, yeah. nothing. Just yeah. my, only my head. Yeah. It's the only thing that comes into fact here. <laughs> but we shave his head, too, because he's yep. a widow's peak yep. when he gets yep. his head shaved. Yep. Yeah. So it gives him a really yeah. good direction. He's, that, he's just that arrow, that yeah. broad arrow. So arrow. Yeah. <laughs> so off, kind of on topics, off topic, when Brett shaved his head, he, his, I look it looked like, like a, a snapping, snapping turtle. turtle. So he was super aerodynamic. If you were walking behind him, wind was like you were getting blocked by wind. He has a pointed head. Yeah, yeah. You're saying. Yeah. So Brett, kind he's of on the back of a, mess with. Yeah, right. he's on the back of Blackbird with a with a box cutter. Mm-hmm. No, know, taped up. Yep. Uh-uh. Cut his duct tape. Roll off the Blackbird. Yep. Now, he, he's, now he's airborne. Yeah, yeah. Now he he's airborne. airborne, and he has a. He's a walkie-talkie. He's talking to one of the guys. He gets in with yeah. the CIA. Agent. Where he's, is Putin at this yeah. point? Yeah. He's no. making his way through the embassy. That's the biggest thing. He's going to walk out at like 4.03 p.m. and give a speech. Mm-hmm. Brett's going to be there at 4.02. Time you know, is exactly. Yeah. yeah. Head down he's adjusting. Like he's yeah, adjusting yeah. midair because he's such a good flyer. Yeah. Yeah. He's adjusting that's midair all to, to make sure that he gets there on time. I already know yeah, what I have to do. Everyone's going like this. He's <laughs> farting when he needs a boost. Yep, yep. <laughs> no, I... Put my head down and go faster, up, yeah. just a yeah. little slower. Yeah. I, I know everything to the detail if you mm-hmm. talk this about at work. Yeah. And then Putin walks outside, you know, he's about to give a speech. The last thing people are expecting is Brett. <laughs> <laughs> the very last thing in the world the that they're expecting head. is Brett. But yeah, with a shaved head. <laughs> Freshly shaved. <laughs> yeah. Flying down. Buttered there. up. This is Brett's biggest sacrifice to America. You know, mm-hmm. He just boom right into Putin. Headbutt. Yeah. Headbutt Putin. Head, head, head to head. Head, 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 head. head. 220 miles per hour <laughs> arrow right into They would be head. so intimidated by this. Yeah. 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 No, and Brett survives too. Yeah. Because I put a steel plate on my head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no one knew that. But steel plate him. The whole time I thought no, you were just like a sacrifice no, to the US. No, I, I survived. Oh, oh I, you survived. Yeah. Oh, Brett sneaks this out. So how do you get out of this afterwards? Yeah, yeah you just okay, said yeah, so you yeah, just started a whole new story. Yeah, I thought you were dead there. Okay, so this is how from. I get out of it. Right out of his, he just comes out the doors. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He has a big cement building, right? Mm-hmm. Little do people know I have an auger on me. <laughs> I auger through the wall, climb in through the tunnels, boom, Brett's gone. Wait, wait, Never wait. find me again. There's a secret tunnel there, too. Yeah, oh. we dug this tunnel... Before many, end. yeah, because we're really good planners. Yeah, we we're plan really good planners. You had an auger. On We've your been back. digging I, auger it on, on my the back. side yep. right yep. now, like secretly. Yep. Like, we just let you guys in. But yeah, yeah. we're a little. Tu- yeah, there's already a tunnel formed. Yeah. Everything mm-hmm. I know, just quickly drill my. It's it's the world's fastest auger. Just <laughs> takes me half a second. <laughs> drill. You have that thing on the yep. rev limiter. Yep. Rev yep. limiter before you even get to the wall. Yep. No, I crank it. So I'm going like this. Is is as soon as I hit him, I pull my auger. Some might start it up. Some might say that like 
your auger is already running. Yeah. yeah. So he's like, he hears that two stroke motor. Where's yeah. that coming from? <laughs> What's up? You know, yeah. <laughs> Turns to look and Brett's flying in, auger yeah. on his back. Yeah. Steel plate, bald head to the head. <laughs> Putin's done. Yeah. Putin is obliterated. And Brett's already inside the cement wall afterwards, too. Yeah. They don't even yeah, know. know. They can't even draw their guns. Yeah. 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 And so done. that's basically what happens. If well, we yeah. CIA, if you want to use us, yeah. 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 That's our, that's our <laughs> plan. It's the best plan I've ever ever even talked about. Yeah. No, it's actually we really good. We shouldn't shared that. It's better than just letting plan. Ukraine get obliterated. See, yeah. we have so much good plans, though, that I don't even care that we shared that, because, right. you know, what we what, about the, what about the other four that we talked about at work? Yeah, that's true. We won't share those yet. I have no idea. The hay bale one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one's Don't even get us started the on the hay bale stick one. The stick one. Dude. Like, we don't even need to go there. But, yeah. I don't know. Nuclear uh, war is scary. But, yeah, yeah maybe that's a... We're maybe... the first people to get hit, actually. Mm-hmm. Over here. Yeah. Right. We're right on Pearl Harbor right I can now. see it. I can see the harbor from my roof. Yeah. <laughs> I spit at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're, the, we're, like, the 1% of the population that will be... In the U.S., that like if you get hit, we're first. Mm-hmm. Like we're right here. Yeah, here we are. That's the scary thing about living in. Hawaii. We have nothing to defend ourselves. Picture with. a nuclear alert on your phone. Like, what would we do? Let's go surf. Yeah, yeah. I would just go charge pipeline. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> yep. That would be the day I do. Hope, hope being pipeline's really big. So it's like, <laughs> take I'm your mind. Die. Take yeah. your mind off of it. Mm-hmm. Even on even on a low tide day too. So like when you drop, you can see the reef. Mm-hmm. The caves. Not even worried. Yeah, the caves. You're not worried at all. So you're like, whatever. What I would do is I'd go straight to Snorkel Bob's. And I'd grab a scuba tank and, and probably like six or seven tanks. And yeah. I'd take, take, I'd take yeah. Brennan's boat out. out a little ocean, Minecraft boat. And I would go under underwater probably like 60 feet deep until like the blasting and stuff is over. And then I'd come up. I'd still have probably like two tanks left so, so I can breathe through the radiation and whatnot. Yeah. And then I'd go from there. I haven't made my plan from there yet. But would you survive? That's the question. Yeah. Of course I would. Yeah. Because I wrapped myself in tinfoil beforehand, too. Wait, why I wonder we... if you would survive. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Underwater, you're good. Yeah, 60 feet underwater, wrapped in tinfoil. Because the nuke only goes... Well, the radiation's water. nuts. You're going to grow three heads by the time you get back up. No, because I'm wrapped in tinfoil. Yeah. Okay. That's the part we're forgetting. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't see why I wouldn't just go on the washing machine. Would you guys actually get into scuba <laughs> diving? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, by the way, time out. I heard a story. I read this book where this guy, uh, World War II, there was a bombing. He was there in Germany, Dresden. He put himself in a little fridge, and uh, he got bombed, and he survived in a fridge. Yeah. He w- put himself in a Easily. fridge. That's what I said. Like, like we're making awesome. jokes about us being in little spaces in a fridge. No. It was, it was he survived jokes. a bomb getting dropped right on him. No, nah, that's... Fridge. Well, right by that's him. So... Dresden, the city in Germany, was... Obliterated. What's Slaughterhouse fires. Fridges fire are fridges are units, dude. Those are bunkers. You, you can survive anything in a fridge. Yeah. No, he survived. Yeah. A bombing in a fridge. Really? And li- lived to tell and write a book about it. Not. Yeah. How close is the bomb dropped? Her? Very like in a city. I don't know. We're in Honolulu and a bomb gets dropped. Doesn't matter where we are. Yeah. So, it does to a certain point. Depends well, yes, if it bombs. drops right next to you, I don't know. Say you're in Honolulu. It'll evaporate you. Yeah. But like, if you're in like the, I don't know, 500 feet away. Wait, wait, wait. Hear 500 me. feet. I don't know the mathematics of this. Hear okay. me out on this. It has to be at least a mile. Hear me out on know? this. Somehow a nuke is coming to Honolulu or Pearl Harbor. Actually, it's going to be first. That's the first base. I'm climbing in Brett's cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Why have Washington. we never thought of running out and catching it? That's See, true. That's now that Julio is Julio Jonesing it. See, because if you can catch it before it hits impact, exactly, then you're good. You go like this. You do like, it you only like explodes when it impacts. You do an over the top catch, mm-hmm. so you catch it and you kind of oh hold it, so you don't you don't stop it right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of yeah. let it over the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. 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 momentum away from it. Yeah. yeah, and you grab it and you swim over to wherever it got shot from. Mm-hmm. Boom, plant it there. That's a good back. point. That's a really good Brett idea. Brett that thing. Yeah, or we... <laughs> Randy <laughs> Moss that thing. Or we take oh, it back. back on that thing. Or we take it back on my boat. Duh. Yeah. My well, boat. no, they're worth a lot of money. We can just yeah. hold on to it. Start our own country. Yeah. We That's an nuke. option. Or... Yeah. We have a nuke. We're four guys with a nuke. We're powerful. Imagine us. Imagine us with a nuke. We'd be unstoppable. So or in, what? So Instagram banned our account. <laughs> yeah, that was rude. Should, yeah. we, should we talk about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we better clear the air on that. Okay. 
Okay, we were on North Shore. Chickens are everywhere by these food trucks. I, we watched little kids last week and picking them up, grabbing them. They're squawking like crazy. I have a story to tell about that, but we'll tell the Instagram story first. Um, Brendan grabbed a chicken and picked it up. It was squawking, of course. It's what chickens do when you grab them. And uh, I posted a video of it. It was a clip from our vlog. And uh, we wake up in the morning with our account deleted. 58.7 thousand followers gone. Mm -hmm. Sad over, times. Over halfway to 100k. We live in the yeah. saddest times. The weakest generation of people. Weakest world ever, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, it is. Oh, and we're eating, eating there, and I heard that. It, yep, okay. Oh. So we're eating at this uh, burrito truck. Taco truck. I'm sitting there, these little kids. Young kids. No more than 14 years old. Probably like... 12, mm -hmm. 11. It's their way of having fun is chasing these chickens around and grabbing them. It's part of the culture here on Hawaii. And uh, these two white ladies. White. Uh, I'm just going to say this. They were overweight and together. I don't know if they were friends. I don't yeah, know if they were no, a couple. they were friends. Okay. They were sitting by their table. These kids ran by and grabbed a chicken. And these uh, two middle-aged women go, uh, we don't want to watch you catch chickens while we eat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay. The rage I felt in my head was so extreme. I can't believe I didn't say anything. I actually can't believe it. Looking I back, I can't believe but it. But look at the people who... You're going to come to this island. Look, we're outsiders too. But you're going to come to this island and tell the local kids how to live and what yeah. they should be doing. It pissed me off so much and I'm not even Hawaiian. Chickens yeah. are such dumb animals. They're Probably, little they're bird brains. They're animals. They're below animals. Yeah. They're insects. Eat your food. And they eat your food and insects. poop everywhere chickens and run around. Food. They can't even yeah. really fly. Wild chickens. People that haven't been to Hawaii don't know what wild chickens are. There. No, I They're no, everywhere. I they have no idea. It's part of the culture to fight chickens, catch them. It's part on of a, the culture. They run around. On a they... different note, I was eating at, uh, up on the North Shore, and a chicken hopped up on my table. Boom, just smacked it right in the head. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, that thing folded and was running around. Mm -hmm. No one batted an eye. You know the like, karma? There was a bunch of girls, like kids around me. I'm like... You know, you know the, like they don't care. You they have don't. to though. You have to. They're also gonna eat your food. You know the karma of this story. She got up to go to the grab a napkin or something. A chicken jumped up on her on her table and started pecking at her food. Yeah. yeah. I go karma. Karma. Yeah. That's what you got. It's real. She was probably a little because she was overweight, right? So she was probably a little bit mad that like you know this stealing chicken's gonna yeah. She's, he's it bothered me so much that you're gonna come in here and try and tell these kids who grew up here what to do. You do not do that. Do no, I know. Uh, I remember when I was a little kid. And Shout out Hawaii. Are white people the problem? I it made me. It made me question it. It made me think about it. I'm pretty white. Ooh, it it made so me. White. It actually made me think. Problem, so. It actually made me think about is tour is is tourism a problem? No, it's not. It it's, actually made me think about it. It's not. It's not white people. It's Why is a tourist telling kids who live here what to do and how to have fun? There's so many other factors that go into that. It pissed me for off example, so much. Like, I example, can't even explain it. For example, she's. Um, she actually did it twice. Too. She's what middle aged. She's 40 at least. Yeah, she's 40. I almost guarantee you she's divorced. She's overweight. Getting no pipe. Yeah. She hasn't had pipe in probably seven steady years. <laughs> you know, yeah, she's, she's, yeah, depressed. she's just an angry yeah. lady. Yeah. No, I actually think she might have been a lesbian, but like, yeah. yeah. It's I'm saying. Just a vacation with her friend. I got punched by a lesbian last week. I've had so many bad experiences before. with overweight middle-aged ladies. It's yeah, not, it's yeah. not even, you know, you they're know just really unhappy people. You know what's terrible to say? Like, I feel a a little like scaredness in my heart like even talking about this and that's what's so terrible of the the point we're at today in the world why can't we just talk about things that are happening right and the reality right no we're just talking about reality. yeah we or giving our perspective even it doesn't even have to be the truth why can't we give our perspective with with no fear of getting no but yeah I think yeah it's like crazy i went well, to oregon or or yeah seattle washington when i was like probably 10 years old with our, my grandma and grandpa Brenda was with. We're on the beach, just mess. You know, kids throwing rocks at things. You know, just don't. I I like throwing rocks when I was a kid. Oh yeah, I watched you kill a bird once. Oh, middle school. But yeah, carry on. Oh, so that's probably in my days. A seagull was on the beach and stealing my fries, and I grabbed a rock and chucked it at it. Hit it right in the neck, killed it. <laughs> Some lady just freaked out. Like, oh, I can tell you're not from here. This is a. St I don't know if it. Was. Are seagulls the Washington State bird or? I, I would hope not. Or I mean, Oregon's that's a sad bird yeah. to have. Or that's Oregon's. I think it's Oregon it State bird. It would make sense actually. Seagulls, oh, no. It would I actually think make sense. 
Let me look this up. But she's she only I can tell you're not almost as bad as Wild. But I'm like chickens. ten years old and some middle aged woman. Seagulls are really close. Too. Yeah, they're, they're not here. They're not. They're here. not here, right? Because they're not smart enough to make it over. Yeah, that's too far away. Someone just brought chickens over and, <laughs> and let them with them. Yeah. And now they're in our yard pooping on chickens our driveway. Chickens are. There are like a lot of chickens. You know how angry here, so it makes me pretty. when I when I walk outside to bring the garbage out or check the mail or go to my room or whatever. And I step right in chicken shit, right on our, oh, right on our sidewalk. I had a chicken shit on my arm the other day. Utah, yeah. Utah is the seagull state bird. But anyway, it's close Ridiculous. enough. But I had a chicken shit on my arm. After that lady yelled at it, I picked up a water bottle. <laughs> it shit all over it, and I actually brushed it against my arm. I had shit all over my arm. Mm-hmm. Had to go lay in a pool and wash that off. And then uh, I was walking in a mall, and I got shit on. Okay, do you know the funniest story of? This was of of getting shit on, and of like coincidences. I was golfing with this guy, my friend, my buddy. We were golfing. There's three of us on a short par of three. I don't know how I remember this, but he was wearing a freedom shirt of a a bald eagle and a bald eagle shit on him. No. Yes, a bald eagle shit on him. Always wearing a bald eagle shirt. Yeah, well, he had a freedom okay. shirt. He had a freedom shirt and a bald eagle shit on. God that's has sense of, such a sense of humor. Yeah, that's what it was like. It was the funniest thing ever. Like we laugh forever. Just a bald eagle shitting on freedom. Yeah. But maybe that's a like there is no freedom. Maybe us getting canceled. Us. That's getting deep. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> no, I watched this video that like shook me up. I had to show Brett, and I should show you too as well. It's this video of this. So everyone in the society is a rat, and they go through this life chasing happiness. And these little rats are going to buy on Black Friday, tearing each other apart, and then it gets whatever. They, money doesn't do it, sex doesn't do it, whatever else doesn't do it. It gets to the end and starts chasing money. Mm-hmm. And this little rat chases this dollar bill up an elevator into a, into a, a work building, and it catches the dollar bill finally. As it catches it, it gets snapped into a mouse trap. And for the rest of the time, it zooms out. There's a million rats mm-hmm. stuck with their dollar bill in their in hands their in a rat trap yeah. in their cubicle. It made me think about life for two days. Yeah. Two, two days. And what it shifted my perspective on, we're not doing this for money. It's for freedom. Freedom. Like, if I'm making 30 grand a year and I'm able to do this, I made it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. people... Let ch- that sink in. Like, no, I know. <clears throat> that's people surreal. chase. People get trapped of chasing money. Oh, I'm gonna go to college for eight years and be a doctor. I'm gonna make my three hundred thousand a year. That's good you know, money. But that's they're trapped still. Do you think like oh like nowadays though like a lot of people just like kill that like entrepreneurs and stuff. Like I've always thought of that like anywhere I am, there's always this guy like you don't have to go to college and stuff like. Do you no, think you, the whole college thing is like? No. Is it? Brennan to like no no sixty percent of the U.S. population no. will always go to college now. No, the amount this. the you know amount I mean? maybe in twenty years it might be different like that. Like, but do you think that will always be a thing? It's going down, but the amount of pressure yeah. I felt What's... to go to college was like unbearable. I felt like I had to, like there was no choice. I'm going to college. What's the easiest road? Everyone gets told as kids, their parents, go to college, go to college, go to college. Go and it brings up. You're always told to do something. I hate to be the devil's advocate, but like. Is it okay to like? A lot of people abandon their dreams in, in for comfort. Is that okay? To be, just be comfortable and go through that. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah. it's, their comfort. it's not a big deal. It's not. Yeah. It's not for everyone though. No. Yeah. No. Some people. Think, it's. I mean, the world. That's what makes the world go around, right? Yeah. yeah the you, world wouldn't spin if everyone was doing what we did. It wouldn't work. Right. Yeah. Has to be someone in every field. What if? What if some people don't actually have dreams other than like. Most people like, don't. I just I think want to just be like, just go hang out. I think a lot of people whatever. just want comfort. It's so easy to slip into. Like, the, the amount of stress I feel would just dis- disappear. Oh, speaking about comfort, it would be so easy for me to get back in my comfort zone. It would be so easy for me to just move back to Minnesota and be in my comfort zone. Right, you're painting. Yeah, I'd, you know, just stuck, you know, just, oh, I'm comfortable. Right. See, but I think, yeah, I guess my, not necessarily my argument, but just like, a different, a different approach to that whole topic was like my comfort zone would, was always just like it, I never had a comfort zone like I was just kind of doing whatever and I think that's where I found comfort like if it was just moving to Hawaii like I would have done it by myself 
Mm-hmm. Chaos. It would have just been clear. like it would have just been like that would have kind of been my comfort zone. So I, I never had like a dream, I guess, but I just like to do things like that were. I don't know. I felt like that was always my comfort zone. So that's kind of just interesting. Like that's why I kind of had to bring it up. Is yeah, it is some people's comfort zone was be like, just work a job and get married, I guess. But mine was just kind of like living, just doing whatever I wanted, I guess. You know I, what I mean? Like it's so that's why like everyone like when people talk about comfort zone and chasing a dream, I'm like, I don't know. Like <laughs> I'm like always just falling into like. I don't know. I guess that's where my comfort zone. Brandon, is. Brandon, I don't. I don't know if I've ever been comfortable in my life. The more I think about it, I've never been comfortable. I. Uh, I think I will only be comfortable once I'm working for myself and making enough to live off what I want to be doing. Yeah. Well, I guess you have to. I guess we have to really figure out what's comfortable then, because if if comfortable for me is like not having a dime to my name. And comfortable as you have in financial freedom, you know what I mean. So it's just yeah. different for everyone. I would, I, would, I would assume because that was my comfortable. Like that was my comfort zone was just being like. So it's interesting. Just kind of doing what I feel like I'm doing. Like Maybe I no responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Basically, just like yeah. I that's how I've always been too. Like I don't need to be doing something. As soon as crazy. I like, as I'll, soon as I started feeling responsible, I like doing it. Or I started spending too long at a job and I was like moving up the company or whatever. I just get that urge. Like I, I started to feel uncomfortable. I'd be like, this is, this is a mess, you know? So what, what's interesting is maybe chaos became comfortable to you. Right. Like what's normal? Maybe not even comfortable, what's normal? Yeah, so that's what I was just, I was just more curious about what you guys thought. No, that's pretty relatable for me. On what is normal? No, what's comfortable. Not normal, because... Nothing about us is normal or my life. As soon is as I as soon as I start so taking on all this like commitment and responsibility, that's when I feel uncomfortable. Which at the same time could be what we're doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah. I'm not comfortable right yeah. now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I feel uncomfortable. For me to yeah. become comfortable would be to abandon all this and just go move to somewhere random and just start. Start so, fresh. Yeah, I would never. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I would be the happiest kid in the world, you know? I would never be comfortable Not with that. the happiest kid in the world, but that would be like comfort, like, you know, just doing my I'd career. live so, in regret and so doubt. Say, say yeah, like, I would live in regret and doubt, but I'm saying like as far as whatever. Yeah. So, so you, yeah, if it wasn't so serious, like yeah. that's what we're taking. Yeah, saying. now, like, now it's like, a different story. Yeah. I'm yeah, talking now, about before. Right, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. So what about like a girl then? If you, do you feel comfort, say one girl, or do you need to move around and have different girls for your comfort? Comfort for me was getting a girlfriend, and then like it's. No, I'm saying, you get sick of that, right? Yeah, yeah. No, actually. Seriously, yeah. I, maybe I that's why you guys haven't had relationships. You know, you get you know talk to a girl like, oh, it's I'm getting. I don't know. This could get, this could get like really personal. Yeah, it could get really personal, but we're. But I would be. There. I would talk to like girls, and it's still to this day. But I, I would talk to a girl for like. Maybe like two or three months, and then I would just be like, I'm bored. Yeah. I'm like, that's it. Like it was nothing against the girl. Mm-hmm. It was just on. It was on my part. I just be like, I'm just like bored. I have to go. I had to go do something. But I think that was a lot of immaturity at the time too. You know, like I just wasn't mature. My my brain, like I'm still not mature. Like my brain, I know it's not fully developed, so I'm just doing like irrational stuff. So I just be like, okay, I'm just doing this and. You know what I mean? And, like, I obviously just didn't like... At the end of the day, I didn't like the girl enough to be, like, okay, I'll stay and, and whatnot. But at the same time, it's like you were in a committed relationship. Same with Kyle. Mm-hmm. And you guys were at my age. So it's... Maybe it's just a little bit different or, you know... What's different for me... I don't know. It's tough to say, but I think I... There's only been one girl that interests me ever. Like, truly interests me. And since then, it's been like, I know it's not going to, right now, it's not going to get me where I want to be. So, like, any girl doesn't really interest me. Wait, you're saying there's one girl that interests you? There's been one girl that interested me ever. That While did, you're that here? That did interest you or no, does interest you? No, I know oh, who I know. it was. And all, Brennan oh. knows. There's only been one girl that interested me Yeah, I do too. And uh, since then, I realized I need to get where I want to be yeah. before anything. Does she still interest you to this day or <laughs> we'll let that be unknown. <laughs> oh, so you're 
No, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Girls aren't the answer right now. Okay. It's just not what I want to do. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. That's, you're saying that's a girl, so a girl out here, Kyle. I don't know. What's that? You're saying a girl out here? No. No girl out here is like. Like I've met great girls, amazing girls, but like. I'm just not in a state in my life where it's like I want to go chase a girl. I don't want to chase girls right now. Yeah, it's easy to do. It's easy to distract yourself and slip into that. But and it's it's super easy actually, very easy. It's hard to like not do it. Maybe if maybe if you find a good girl, maybe it'll help. You know, maybe it'll help. I don't think so. If it's a good girl, yeah. Right. It's, yeah. it's taking your time though. That's backing you. You're saying. Yeah. Like look at Steve. will do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at what he created. I would just say majority of like the relationships though now would just be like they're just a little bit different. You know? I think the it's really rare to find a girl, yeah, you, a girl like that though. You have to just share really similar in- interests. Yeah. So. It's almost something unexplainable. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hopefully is- I find it. I don't know. I guess that's right. basically what. I, that's the only thing. I- is there a fifth person on this podcast? Yeah, I don't know. Did a bird fly overhead? I don't know. It must be a fifth that joined in. But anyways, we're on girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're not getting any girls or anything. Huh. No, what Steve will do it said that really like shook me or like I like realized was uh, high value men, like uh, people who are chasing something, they don't have time to be talking to ten girls. Mm. They don't. Like, that's like a misconception people have. Like, you have 100 girls. No, you don't, because you're putting all your time into what you're doing. I was thinking this, too, earlier today of that. I don't know how I thought about this, but I was thinking of, like, Post Malone, right? Yeah. He's not a good-looking guy. Or, to me, like, I don't think he's No, he's hideous. objectively not. Yeah, I don't think he's hideously ugly, but I guaranteed you... Post Malone walks into a bar, and any of us walk into a bar, who's coming out with more girls? If they don't know who's Post Malone, or they do know who Post Malone is. Who doesn't? Yeah. That's what Post I'm saying. Malone. You're just saying because of his, his Hi, success. Yep, his success. Yeah. But that's and girls find, And I used to think, like, oh, gold diggers. Like, girls are gold diggers. Yeah. They're not gold diggers. It's just... It's the life you can provide. Yeah. And who you are. Right. It's that's what, like a big misconception is all oh, gold diggers. You call a girl a gold digger if they're with a rich guy, but no, that's just a guy who's and gonna takes, provide them with a life they want to live. It takes a lot in a man to become that sort of person. Yeah. So yeah. It's not like it's, oh it's he's not, just you know lucky lucky or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's work hard. Yeah. yeah. It's not just like oh he just stumbles. He's a high, He provides a lot of value. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why do we think Tom Brady and Giselle are getting a divorce? I guarantee you, Tom Brady is gonna have a smoke show. Or he's okay, probably but, already had an affair. Okay. He's too obsessed he, with his dream. That's yep. the answer. Yeah, it is. Okay. But I guarantee you, my thoughts on this is he loves football more than his family. Yep. That's why he's successful. That's why he's so good. That's why he has seven rings. Is he loves he loves football way more than his wife and kids. Yep. Right. He, he loves right his now, work. so the only thing that will make him happy is getting another yep. ring. Yeah. That's the only thing that will make he him happy. He loves and, football. And, and not a ring from another girl. Yeah. Maybe he... Exactly. Mm-hmm. But... No, maybe he does. What? He could be having an affair, Giselle. We don't know. Right, right, who knows. But my thing is he fell in... Or he loves football more than his family. Which he does, because he would have retired. Yeah. And he would have left 44, it behind. 44, 44. That's yeah. what makes the best the best, though. Yeah, it does. That's it why the best, best are... Yes. Unfortunately for Tom, is he won't ring, win another ring. So it's like it's always so. Interesting. I know you like, think about that. It's sad, but but, but no, the you, chase you is can't, so fun. For you yeah, can't fun. you can't count that guy out, and you can't count him out. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna count him out right now. Tom's not winning the Super Bowl this year, and he's not gonna next there year. There ain't no way he's winning the Super Bowl this year. There's just way too many good teams. Mm-hmm. Such a good league right now. This is the first year I can confidently say Brady's not gonna win the Super Bowl. So many people doubt that guy. No, I didn't. I never doubted him until like. The only no. QB I'm doubting right now is Russell Wilson. <laughs> yeah, the Broncos are not it this year. No, they're a really good team, but Wilson just. And I just disagree. I don't even think they're a good team. 
No, their defense, defense, their defense, defense, defense team. Is so you need an bad. offense. They don't have an offense. Defense wins championships. If you had an all right QB in there, they would be yeah. winning those games. But Russell's a shit. But they don't. They don't. And who are the receivers? Name them. Jerry Judy. Exactly. Sutton. They're yeah. all really good. Yeah, they're, they're, it's like a really they're good like team. They're fairly, they're fairly new names, but yeah. they're good. Yeah, they're, they're good. They're really good. If you gave Aaron Rodgers that team yeah. or Tom Brady that team, they'd be winning. They'd be, they'd be like the Eagles. And that's why I'm saying why Kirk Cousins isn't that good because he's a star receivers and he's not yeah. winning Super Bowls. Right. That's why I say he's really average. We are what four and one, five and one. No, I know, but look at Kirk Cousins winning. Five and one. He's, how long? How long? Have, he's a fifty yeah. percent winning QB. Yeah, how long has he been? It's average. League? Kirk Cousins is not a good QB. Or he's not Vikings a bad QB, will be in the playoffs and will win at least one game. I'll tell you that. Okay, that's pretty like normal. Yeah. That's very yeah, normal. That's not thanks to Kirk Cousins because yeah. he's been there yeah. for that long. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my that's argument, what every yeah, my Viking. argument is to be like Cousins is not like a great quarterback. Like, he's not. Whatever, it's not like a big deal to not. So is that quarterback. is that Vikings winning the Super Bowl to you guys being a Vikings fan? <laughs> no, I'm being going serious. to the playoffs is such a big deal to a Vikings yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. But that, yeah, yeah. That's that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. No, it's cool to see the Vikings in the, in the playoffs. Yeah. No, I want like Vikings. I, like, yeah, I like out. Vikings. Like I don't hate them, but I just right. if they had a good QB, I would. They be, would be a really good team. Yeah. That's the be. only downfall why like I don't have belief in them because. You have Kirk Cousins. Cousins. Yeah. If you'll go in a primetime game yep. and just die on the field. You're just like, he's, what am I even watching? He's watching? 0 and 16 in primetime games. <laughs> it's yeah. terrible. And he just can't. Wait until he gets to the playoffs. And they're not even mm-hmm. against good teams half the time. Right, though. yeah. He just the... shits the bed. Yeah. yeah. When the lights come <laughs> on, he, he gets blinded. No, he does. Okay, mm-hmm. everyone in the world is watching Kirk, and then he goes, oh, mm-hmm. he's in the shambles. Oh. He's in ruins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's in ruins. It's like a nuke got dropped on his head. That's why the the up. announcers Somebody snaps in the ball and he throws it on the sideline. Yeah. The so announcers goes, call him one o'clock Kurt. Yeah, he's so that's good only on, when, like, yeah, on just, Sunday yep, at noon just, because uh, no one's watching him. Yep. Like, they call right. him one o'clock Kurt. Yeah. As soon as there's a game outside of that, he can't do anything or can't that's perform. That's so weird. So it's just like mental. And it's, it's, not it's all weird. mental. Yeah, yeah, it's mental. And now he has that stigma zero yep. to sixteen. Yeah, tough. Yeah. He probably he, doubts himself so much yeah. on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Thursday comes, he's just punching the air. Yeah. He's just sitting there just slugging. He doubts up. himself so much. Yeah. But that's where it, he's like... Just, it's pressure. He's in shambles. Yeah. He's in ruins. But, what would, like... I'd like to see the Vikings win. Yeah. Honestly. I would love I would, that. Yeah, yeah so if they got cool. a Super Bowl, it'd be yeah, sick. Yeah, it'd be so cool. But I just... I can't... I don't have faith in Kirk Cousins. I'm and I don't want to like the Vikings because I, I grew up with friends that were fans of the Vikings and every year they're just they're like crying at the end of the year you know like everyone's in a depression for two weeks I'm just mm-hmm. like well I don't want to get behind that you know <laughs> everyone's crying and well I'm a Seattle fan right now but I mean Geno <laughs> Smith has been hucking dimes so yeah no Geno's doing good That's he's better than he's actually been playing like really well yeah. like throwing off like like crazy passes no that's what people have been saying Geno Smith has been doing really well so that's pretty cool. I, I think uh, if Packers pick up some receivers, it'll be Packers and Philly in the Super Bowl. No, they're in the NFC Wolf. No, they're not. Philly's not AFC. Philly's not AFC. But, uh, yeah. I really? Think, yeah. I think Bills are going to be Or no, Super Bills Bowl. and Packers. Bills are... No, it'll Philadelphia be, is NFC. I, want, I, I yeah. like the Bills. It'll be Bills like and... Bills. Bills, yeah. Bills... Bills and Philly, I think. As of right now. Obviously, if... Packers can pick up some obviously good Mahomes. Receivers. Yeah, obviously Mahomes speed. will be competing up there. Yeah, because that's just what he does. Yeah, he'll be on that big stage on the that Bucks, NF, an AFC championship. The, the Cowboys. No. The Cowboys will probably make it. Do you think the Cowboys? Cowboys are? will. They always choke in the playoffs. They choke. Like, yeah, they're like the Vikings. They're like the Vikings. Yeah, yeah, they're just like a replica. It'll probably be. Yeah. Listen to us. Analysis. Yeah. NFL analysis. Yeah, that's football, football guys. Yeah. yeah. Couch yeah, quarterbacks. Yeah. yeah. Monday morning quarterback. Yeah, look at us football so guys. Yeah. Should, we start a, should we title it football podcast? We were talking about how we are going to be in the NFL earlier. No, but to be honest, I guarantee I could be a good QB in the NFL. Mm-hmm. And no, I could, no, be, not, a, I no. could be a good uh, wide receiver, WR1. And I would be in the NBA if I was 6'5". I'd be a center and a, and a safety. Yeah. Uh, those would be, I'd play offense and defense. Safety would be safety. crazy cardio. Safety <laughs> would be so fun. Yeah, safety would be the funnest position to play. You just get to eye people up and yeah. just run at them. Yeah. 
You're out of a lot of plays as a safety, though. You are. Well, that's fine. Because once you do get in the play, you're, you know, you're a problem. You're chomping at the bit. Yeah. Yeah. You either get a pick or a hard hit. Just chewed to bits. Yeah. Favorite sport athletes? Brett. Aaron Rodgers. Logan. Sport athletes? Yeah. Or, or, or Ovechkin. Yeah. Ovechkin. Alex Ovechkin. Yeah, probably Ovechkin. Right? Probably Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, Caitlyn <laughs> Jenner is hot. <laughs> so hot. Yeah. Allen Iverson. Who's Allen Iverson? Yeah, who's that? White Allen. Uh, oh, the point, basketball player. Point guard for the, for the 76ers. 76ers. He had the most swag out of any sport athlete. Dude, ever. I hate basketball. Was I, he yeah, white? That's a really no. Sport. Why do they call him White Iverson? That's Post Malone wanting to be like Allen Iverson. Yeah. Oh, that's like him yeah. saying he's White Iverson. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't. I think basketball is probably the dumbest sport out there. Okay, I'll no. say yeah, basketball is, is with, basketball a straight, is, with a straight face. Basketball is the worst sport. Yeah. I probably yeah. played every sport. I would rather watch elementary sk- kids play Foursquare than watch basketball. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. yeah. No, seriously. I played every sport you could possibly I might go play farther. growing up. Basketball is the most fun to play. You never played hockey or golf? I played hockey with not friends competitive. 100 times. You didn't pay competitive. I played might say times I'd rather hockey. watch Bob Ross paint than yeah. watch basketball. Well, that's fun to watch. Basketball is the most fun sport to play. When you put it against Perry, it's fun to watch. No, no, I played basketball. I think I'm not saying to watch. No, it, it is fun to watch. When you put care. Bob Ross painting against basketball. Bob Ross painting is fun to, to play. Watch. It is so fun. Four games to zero. Bob I Ross think Payne. people who play basketball escape that they're not athletic. Not true. I would argue and the most athletic players of any straight. sport. No, Very play cool. basketball. No. LeBron that's James that's could play any sport. No. Yes, he, he, cannot, he cannot play hit, hockey. I would he hit cannot LeBron play. so hard at the knees if he was LeBron in would kill it in the NFL. No, he would no, he wouldn't. He'd he's way too injury. slow. Yeah, he'd be one he can't big even run. Yep. There's a reason his name is Basketball, yeah. we'll the only the thing that counts. sounds slow. We'll let the audience decide that. Kyle, let me <laughs> say something slow. right now. He can't think fast. Is why name's LeBron. You can't think fast. Listen, can't run fast. Why is everybody in the NBA over basically this... Why is everyone over 6'3"? Not everyone. So they can dunk. The, no. 90% of players are over 6'3". Yes. They run and just dunk the ball. It's stupid. Yeah. You it's no athleticism. Saying that, yeah. saying it's all about that. bouncing a ball around. Yeah. You got long and arms. I guarantee you, give me three years of just sitting at the three throw line and shooting, I guarantee I could be in the NBA. Yeah. Give, Honestly, me, yeah. give, give me four months it's so and I'm easy. there. I'm there. Yeah. I'm putting up points against Kyrie. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is it's fun to play. I was never saying it's the most fun to watch. Go hop to the left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, Wait easy. Away. It's just a dumb No, it's because it's easy because it's dumb. You just run it around, is. grab it basketball, yeah. shoot it. No, I actually hey, like basketball. Here's, like, my biggest beef. Hater on it. here's my biggest beef with basketball is I go on like Instagram or TikTok and I'm seeing these highlights. Yeah, they're so dumb. And I'm so like, what did this guy do? He just he ran he just, and dunked the yeah. ball. No, yeah. he, no, 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 no. Did a oh a different over yeah, 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 yeah. Was that long arms? That and then he ran over to the corner and shot, yeah. and shot the ball. Why so do I care? He did no pressure to get ran over and flat and yeah. buried into the ground or tackle hit. basketball. No, yeah. and a why? Or take sport. take a ball Listen, like a, a puck if we were to the talking face. Tackle go, basketball. go watch Michael Jordan versus the Pistons in the playoffs. Go watch that. Listen, and then well, say that. I have that? watched 1991. It. But just say that again. I'll say it again. Yeah, you bring it highlights from 1991. Yeah, I don't like basketball because it's soft. When I you're watch. saying it's not, when you're saying it's soft enough, Kyle, physical, it's soft. go watch. That's in 1991. Yeah. I'm saying today. Saying. They touch them and it's a foul. Mm-hmm. I watch, Everyone's, it's gotten yeah. way soft. I watch yes. Le, yeah. It's like I soccer. I watch yeah, LeBron. LeBron. Soccer. These guys that make it tackle basketball, and I would love that. Yeah, yeah I would too. Put something cool in it, like where you can push them over or something. Don't be like. Barn ball. Barn ball. Yeah. Barn, barn ball. Barn ball. Barn ball. Yeah. Barn ball. Barn yeah. ball. We should, we should bring up YouTuber, if you're listening this far, we should bring Barn Ball League. Everyone it would take over NBA. Yeah. Barn Ball League. Barn it would. Barn Ball is sick, dude. Yeah. Right hooks randomly. Yeah. People fighting. You can have fights. No, people. Oh, think, think of hockey. Let like, me people s- can just fight. Let yeah, me people say this. to fight in the, in the big leagues. People yeah. like its nature. People like pe- seeing people getting hit, violent, mm-hmm. like... Football, everyone way, loves those good hits. It makes it way Don't, more intense to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one likes... Soccer is the biggest thing because it's in different countries. But, like, no one wants to see... It's not because it's just a different country. It's just the biggest sport, period. Yeah, Second soccer. worst sport for soccer. me soccer, yeah. Soccer and... Soccer sucks, dude. Yeah. I like How rugby, you, though. Rugby's cool. Because they're cool. hitting people. Yeah. yeah. MMA. I like, Who watches rugby? Name one rugby player. That I like. I, I like gold. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't have time to watch. I'm busy watching. When I have time to watch anything, I'm watching UFC or football. Yeah, football, <laughs> hockey, anything with hitting or yeah, violence. Violence. Baseball, I like violence. Baseball is up there with one of the best. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Too. It's a good American game. Do you know we should? Yeah, I like it. At the end of the day, Do you know I love to go to a baseball game just because? Yeah, eat a hot dog. Eat a hot dog. Drink a Budweiser. Do you know I love to have a tank top on and start yelling? Strike three. But do you know I'd love to bring back is people fighting animals like gladiators. Oh, like so cool. We should do that with prisoners. Yeah. I vote. You have my vote right here, right now. Do you know how sick of a right sport now, that, you that, that Should we start a petition? You have a bear and a guy with just a knife going at it. <laughs> like that's so cool to me. The first guy I'd like to elect is our the guy we work with. He has like four or five DUIs. Throw him in there. You know, versus <laughs> lion. Give him a pair of blue snips. Give him a pair of blues. All right, too far. Hopefully just jokes. See this, yeah. Just jokes. Um, but yeah, you just go to like your local prison and be like, you pick out like the three biggest guys. If you they survive, you get to be free. Yeah, yeah. they came in with they a violent like, crime. They have like four four life sentences. So. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're dead. dead. You're yeah. dead in prison, or you can you have well, a chance to fight the line. Yeah. Instead of you, ma- yeah. instead of you wasting money on taxpayer dollars, go. we don't pay for you. Yeah. No, this you is can help. Make, yeah. Prison costs a lot of money. It does. Yeah. <laughs> But what we do for this guy is we we give him a really big meal, you know? Mm-hmm. Strengthen him up. Mm-hmm. Give him some roids, too. Yeah. He's sick. Give him, like, a little switchblade. Oh, yeah. Not big. He can't have a good chance, you know? <laughs> like, the odds <laughs> are 100 to 1. know what these people came to see. You yeah. Know? And you can bet on it, too. Big yeah. money. Big money. It big would odds. Make so yeah. much money. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I guarantee you, ninety or hundred percent of Americans would watch that. It would be the biggest. It'd be bigger than Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, it would be bigger, bigger than it would be. I guarantee you, would bring in more money than the NFL. We, we, we are going to start it. We are going. Yeah, we're going to start it. Yeah, we're going to start. But it. you can't because like animal crews. Well, what do you mean? Yeah, not obviously not in the United States. Yeah. We're going to buy our own country. Mm. Okay, yeah. Once we get our own island, we catch our nuke from Pearl Harbor. Walk over there. We have a nuke, and then we, <laughs> we have, have, we have our nuke. Yeah. Put it off to the side. We'll start our gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Put it to the side. Yeah. Let it rest. Yeah. Can't even mess no, but think it? if we could have got like Mike Tyson fresh out of prison. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Like him versus Lion. That would bring in so much money. Not. So he, he actually might win. win. He actually yeah, might win. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why betting odds would win. move. You know, we'd have yeah. a lot of moving money. <laughs> Punch that thing in the face. Yeah. Yeah, he would honestly knock the line up. Yeah. Mike, he gets, he gets my argument action. is Mike Tyson in his prime would beat any American, or not American, any human being to ever live in a fight. Yeah. Like, like you guys saying MMA. Like, I know a lot of people say MMA. You think Mike Tyson would take Brock Lesnar? Listen, listen. <sighs> Other than biblical. Here's, here's what people say is like, MMA fighters would destroy him. No, 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 no. He Whoa. was so much more physically just dominant over everyone. He would walk them down and just beat beat them to a pulp. What about, it, it wasn't these about are, these wrestling. These are prison guys. These are street fighters. What, are, about, what no, about Francis no. Nagama? What is that guy's name? That can punch Mike, like a Mike, punch Mike Tyson. Tyson's head. Mike Tyson would bob him and knock him out so no, hard. No, is this. He's a UFC fighter. That's where like my biggest like argument would come. It's like this guy will get you on the ground. And you start. give you I'm give telling you, Francis Nugano or uh, Kamara you, Usman. You give those guys a guy that literally the only thing this guy knows how to do is punch. All he has to do is watch up for a punch. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. It makes it so much easier for them. Yeah, Mike, train Mike Tyson in takedown defense for three months. Like 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 he was such a different animal. Oh, come on. people! people kick, you can't just out. go and take down Mike Tyson. You're getting a, you're getting punched in the face. And you're probably yeah, getting very hurt. Well, let's start. Beast. Let's start this conversation from Mike Tyson being Mike Tyson. Can yeah. he? Can Mike Tyson train the UFC? Yeah, he, or that's where we start. We can't. Yeah, we can't just yeah, like, start throwing this variables yeah. in. He Otherwise, I agree yeah. with you. He could have yeah. easily trained UFC if it was popular at the time. Okay, no, but I'm saying no. But Mike you're Tyson, saying Mike Tyson fresh out of prison. Yeah. And throw not, not throw, throw Mike Tyson against John Jones. Mike Tyson will walk him down and make him look like a little kid. Wait, when are you saying this? Fresh, Mike Fresh yes, out of prison? Yes, Mike Fresh out of prison, John Jones is at any point in his career. You I so heavily disagree with you, Kyle, right there. I so heavily disagree with you. It's just way too bad because Mike Tyson has an elbow deep inside his right eye socket. Do you, know, do you know how much bigger Mike Tyson is than these guys? Kyle. He was 5'10", 5'10", five, ten, five, ten, and 220 pounds of just pure muscle. Yeah, he's a beast. 
how um, John Jones, John Jones, Jones can do like back, like John Jones just spinning would, back. John Jones would stuff. make Mike Tyson fresh out of prison look like a little kid. Yeah. These you guys. know, it's Wait, what's sad. Out of prison? It's sad that we'll never see this because uh, he would make him look like a little kid, Kyle. I would bet my life saving John Jones. I would so, bet my whole so, life. So, so what we have to understand, what, what we have to understand here is, Mike Tyson had no one even touch him for like eight years. Well, he's not fighting John Jones in prison. He's no, but he was fighting the better. best boxers in the world. No yeah, one touched him. Boxers. You can't. Uh, They're the best at Kyle, punching in the Kyle, world. I disagree with you. Did you see McGregor and that's fine. May- Did you see McGregor versus Mayweather? Mayweather won. Yeah, Mayweather. Mayweather won. Did Mayweather beat the shit out of Connor? No. Right. And it wasn't a UFC. McGregor fight. got gassed after he so got look, punching. McGregor I love, I love McGregor, but you know what? Floyd uh, played him. Mayweather's like a, not even the, like a real MMA guy. He's a boxer for the most part. I'm prefacing this by saying I love McGregor and I respect him. Mm-hmm. Floyd Mayweather played him like a deck of cards. He uh, he toyed with him until he got tired. Yeah, he got tired, and, and then he just just KO'd him. Okay, yeah. okay Mayweather versus uh, he McGregor. KO'd him. Mayweather versus McGregor in the cage. Yeah. It'd be over in the first round. Um, yeah. Floyd Mayweather is 145 pounds. Okay, it's, it's, it's not. That's not, not what I'm same saying. Cop, okay, okay. It'd be over in the first round. Uh, Mayweather would be. UFC's here. way more elite. Back to my argument is John Jones calf kick Tyson. He'd just keep kicking him in the legs. And he would just he would just work on him, and then he would do like a spinning back kick to the head. It would just put Mike Tyson in UFC gloves. Guys are getting killed. I'm not kidding. And John Jones is going to equally hits. do that, if not more, to Mike Tyson. No, 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 no. John UFC Jones foul. isn't. John Jones was just really long. And imagine well, he's not a big, big, Jones, actual big guy. John Jones would take. He's very big, but he's John he's Jones, tall and lean. John Jones would take Brock Lesnar. Kyle. John Jones is coming back at heavyweight. You, Kyle, Kyle, I know, it's, Kyle, I know. it's a different level of physicality. Kyle, That's I what know, you're not understanding. Kyle, I know what you Kyle, want. You think, I know yeah, what you're, you're saying. saying. Like, I do understand your argument that Tyson was a beast. And he, he was, was really good at boxing. He was and a I, beast. I would never take that away from him. He's just, John Jones is going to make yeah. it look like a kid. If there's a guy that's trained in every department. Here's where I can get you to agree so on me. much more. Here's he's right. going to beat him and he's going to. John Jones is actually going to hurt Mike Tyson. So, so he's here's gonna kill him. here's where you'll agree with me. <clears throat> what I'm saying essentially is, okay, first of all, I don't even believe that John Jones would even get close enough to take him down. But we'll carry on. You can disagree. John Jones and Mike Tyson. I'm talking about the physicality of Mike Tyson. Those two train the same amount of time, same energy. UFC, who wins? What are, are you UFC? saying? Are you saying Mike Tyson trains UFC the same amount of time as John Jones trains UFC? Well, if Kyle, if they're See, going, that's right. I actually can't even like I can't John even talk Jones, about it. John Jones at that level, a week of nature. His his elbow. Um, uh, Wait, are you saying they they his elbow is, distance is the same as Mike Tyson's training? punch distance? Are you so, saying they grow up training? Like, what's your what are you saying, Kyle? I don't know. Yeah, I guess what, that's where what I'm, I'm saying is. That's, I guess that's where I don't know. Mike Tyson about. is the most dominant fighter to ever live. No. Yeah. Well. Yep. That's it. John Jones. I don't know. Is, I, and wait until you see John Jones come back at heavyweight and start. Here's what I'm saying. John guys. Jones is like what? What is he like six? He's super tall. I still and, he, and he's still only like what? 220 pounds. There's a difference level of physicality and power and strength and dominance that goes into Mike Tyson versus yeah, John Mike, Jones. Mike John Jones really isn't actually that big. That's why he doesn't fight at heavyweight. He's but not he's as big as you think he is. He's, he's, coming back at he's never fought in heavyweight. Don't, even, don't, even, don't even talk to me as him as a heavyweight. He's not well, ever he's fought back, in as he's a heavyweight. Back in heavyweight so. <laughs> <laughs> Has that fight been called out? Has it been proven? Okay, but, well, Kyle, what, 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 what I would like to know is what, what is your argument? Yeah. Yeah. So I've, you're just I've saying watched that Mike Tyson is strong and big, and that's the only thing you're saying? Are you saying that he can go in? He's like a bigger Michael Chandler. Yeah, are you just saying that he can... My gosh. Kyle, are you just saying... I actually got to like go leave for a little bit after that statement. Because he's that is Tyson nuts. You just John compared Jones. Michael Chandler to Mike Tyson. Yeah, but I was stop, short, stock, and explosive. Oh, it's not. It's not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take care of that. Oh. I was okay, just. So now I, we I have can't even believe we have guys mad. Yeah. We, have guys mad. <laughs> I can't even believe we have somebody that's mad. Yeah. Kyle is, will never go to the root of the problem or root of the argument with yeah. me, and that's where I was trying to go, and that's why he left. But on a new topic, because oh, we won that UFC. Over Mike Tyson easily any day. I'll take Sean O'Malley over it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get my heel kick. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Is this a different level of training? Don't tell me some boxer is gonna yeah. gonna hop in a street fight with one of these guys. But what always back to our original topic of how funny it'd be to have people fight animals that are in prison. Yeah. yeah. 
It would be so... The most money we could make. Mm-hmm. We maybe, set it up. Maybe we start off as like... We fight a chicken. After there you go. Brett, and we Brett versus chicken. chicken. Yeah, Brett yeah, versus Brett's chicken. Versus with, chicken with, yeah. It has hens. You know how they act? Yeah. It, it can climb. You put a mask on so nobody knows it's you. Yep. And we shoot it on the dark web. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is where it all starts. Yeah. <laughs> You get an angry hen all with... You, all we we start is a good IP a, address, yeah, we start, a strong IP address. We start address. building a business out of yep. it. Yep. And we just kind of move you, it up. You, yeah, we slowly were breaking guys out of prison. Yeah. To viewers out there... To the point where we get permission for the warden to be like... We're hey, getting paid in Bitcoin, because it's yep. on the dark web. Yep. And we start building it up underground. Eventually, we get paid enough money, we buy our own uh, country. Yep. Yep. And then that's where we can make it public and whatever. We take over People Russia. fly over there. Yeah. We we take take over yeah, because Brett killed Putin. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it bombarded he's, Putin. Yeah. But I'm still he's like the biggest country in the world. Yeah, yeah we'll just take it over. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> what is Putin we'll call it easy land. Yeah. What does Putin have? Like a 1920s tank? Yeah. That guy's so outdated. I'd put, a, put that tank in a chokehold. Yeah. We go over there. Flip that thing over. We go over there. We have like two pit bulls each really big. Yeah. Walk in there, we start taking over. Mm-hmm. No, but I'm saying is... Find a nice big uh, square footage town. That's where we uh, are setting it up anyways. You started off with... If anyone's seen a hen chicken with babies, those things are violent. They can claw you. They can get They can get after you. They're scary. Tell your story of you getting chased over your coke. Yeah. So imagine you're going to <laughs> imagine you're going to work, right? You wake up. It's six o'clock in the morning. You're so tired, and there's you walk outside. <clears throat> I was going to my truck, and there was like this chicken, like just ran right in front of me on the sidewalk, just being disrespectful, you know, on my property. That's what I'm thinking, you know. And it takes it, you know, like it craps right on the sidewalk. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah. Right there. And I'm like, okay. Don't so I, so load yeah, so I follow for it. You to step in. I follow it into the lawn. And I'm like walking across rocks. My feet are hurting. I'm barefoot. And so I'm really triggered now. Mm-hmm. Like I'm now you're mad. mad. Yeah. I'm actually mad. We have a guy that's mad. Yeah. So I pick up some rocks and I start mm-hmm. throwing them at a chicken. You know? <laughs> like this, this mother hen. By the way, I am trying to kill this chicken. Mm-hmm. Like this is, you know, I am mad. This is war. Yeah. I'm attempting... Man, like slaughter on the It's chicken. either you or this chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no in between. So I'm throwing rocks at it, and then I'm like, all right, all right, I don't care, you know. It's like not really, it's just kind of like slowly walking. Like it's all some chicks come out of nowhere, mm-hmm. you know, from like under our house. So I'm like, wow, I'm yeah. mad, you know. <laughs> these are under my house. Yeah. That's my, <laughs> my thought process. <laughs> so then I follow it down into like the alley, kind of. Like we have early a house. Early in the morning, Yeah, too. very early. And I have like a Coca Cola in my hand that I like found outside. I don't know what I was doing, and um, I start walking toward it, and it like spins in a circle. You know, it has its chicks right behind it. <laughs> Boom! Takes an aggressive circle. Whoa! You know, what's yeah. that move? You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm not familiar. Here? I'm not yeah, familiar. Yeah, what is going on yeah. here? Yeah, like I'm really not familiar with this, and um, I keep you know following it. I throw like one more rock. No weapons except my Coke. And um, it does one more circle and just attacks me. <laughs> like, <laughs> running after me. And there's a fence right here, a house right here. And I, like, like jump at it and it runs away, you know? And then it flies back at my head. I'm like, you know, batted out of the air. And, I, like, I kind of start taking off, but it keeps coming after me. I grab my Coca-Cola, whip it, you know, hit it. And then it, like, kind of runs off. After that, I'm like, this is real. Like, these things... This the thing chicken... Was coming that chicken... Yeah. Take- like, it, but at the end of the day, that chicken beat your ass. Because you came inside white. You were scared. Yeah. He was scared. It beat him up. Yeah, the you were. The chicken won. You were so chicken scared. Chicken won. Yeah. You were so what scared you that you had, to, you had to try and put me against it. Because that's what you did. Yeah. I, I went out there too. After I was gonna, yeah, he's uh, trying to shower. Yeah, also knows a new thing is to go chase this chicken that has kids. Right, he's telling me, yeah, no, get in his face. Get in his face. As soon as he was attacking me earlier. And then I get in his face and it's... Oh, thing postures up. Yeah, it's they're like, scary. Yeah. It does a 360. Yeah. And yeah. then postures up and just those yeah. things are so fast, dude. I freaked out. I had legs were shaking for probably 25 minutes after. Yeah. That. They I could come, hardly stand. They come claw. <laughs> they're so scary. Cuz they fly your eyeballs. They'll claw your eyes. Little bird this big. Yeah. They're scary. 
I'm I scared. just couldn't believe how aggressive it was. I'm scared of chickens. If I was a prisoner <laughs> and I had to fight a chicken, I'd be scared. Yeah. No a big one with, like, big... furry legs. Like, no, and knives. You, you attach knives to it. Here's what I, re- like, it can here's what I realized is what, what the mess of the chickens. Because I did get my revenge on that chicken and its whole family. I'm not even going to talk about how that Yeah, we don't, we don't even talk about that yeah. podcast. And, or the um, other chickens, too. Yeah. And, uh, and other families. Too. Yeah. But um, I figured out with chickens is you got to get on that level. You get low with them. And you, you swing your arms. <laughs> so, like, I'll look really violent Medicine, in the backyard. Yeah. If you guys are outside and I'm actually getting low with a chicken. <laughs> like, like, Brennan and this chicken are going at it. Like, I'm getting low. I'm getting super primal. I'm getting, I'm locked in in a certain place in my head. And I'm going after this thing. Like, it, it's not coming after me. I'm going after it. You have to, though. Yeah. But that's the problem. Don't. Because people don't know. You have to get in that mindset. Like, yeah. it's me. Like, it's or you or the chicken. Yeah, like one of us mm-hmm. is going to walk up. Because as soon as you show a slight inkling of fear, that mm-hmm. chicken is going to yep. take profit off yep. of it. And it's going to start harassing yep. you. Yep. But you, I figured out the good method. When they come at you, you go like this, you know? So it's down, you know, and it stands running mm-hmm. forward. He doesn't stop. You come down over the top. It's the best method. You know what I figured out with small animals? Never run from them. So we worked at this job where they had these little dogs. And we were all scared to get out of the truck. They were yipping at us. Australian Shepherds, little dogs. And uh, I have this on video, by the way. This is on video. You can see it on our Instagram. But I got out of the truck. I'm like, oh, I'm not scared of these things. I'll, sh- I'll show these guys, you know? Mm-hmm. And I start walking around, and all of a sudden, that thing starts going crazy at me and starts jumping. And I turn around and run to the truck. It jumps up behind my knee and ripped, rips its teeth into my leg. Mm. I got bit. I jump into the truck. I'm in shambles, uh, and I realized it, it attacked me because I showed fear. So from that point on, every time it came near me, I just faced it and glared it down. Yeah, they got would. in its face. Yeah. Never had an issue with it since. Yeah, yeah. yeah they sense like fear. I actually started like when Reggie it's like, got. Oh, it's running away from me. I could take this thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll face it. I'll, but then like you face it, it, it cowers yeah, down. I don't do anything to you. Yeah. Little life hack. Have you ever been bit by an animal, bro? Um, yeah, bitten by uh, dogs. I've bitten by many a dogs. I'm going to ask for hunting permission. I had this thing start just attacking my leg. And I'm asking the guy. I'm sitting there like, can I ask for? Because asking for to bow hunt on his lane, this little dog's just going ham on my leg, and I'm trying to like, kick it <laughs> off. Of it. But I'm scared a little. I'm scared of dogs. Like, mm. I have dogs and stuff, you know, but. The homeowners always say, oh, they're nice. But they don't know. It's they a to, lie. It's a lie. It's always a lie. Because it's nice to them. But those things will bite you. It's proven. You got bit. That, that's a guy said, oh, they're friendly. Just throw a ball for them. I have a scar on my head. As a little two-year-old, I tried to steal a dog's food. Mm-hmm. It literally walked over to me, picked me up by the head like I was its little kid, and just, just ripped me away from the Oh, food. I had a friend that went to our neighbors, had some puppies. And he went to grab a puppy, and the dog just ripped his face. Just like he, he has still, scars all over yeah, his face. Yeah, to this to day, that. he has scars all over his face from this dog. Just, just bit his face off. No, and that was the nicest dog ever. Like, dogs people, don't play around no. like, when they care. Like, yeah. or any wild animal. Like, it you, makes me think about wolves. Like, if they attacked you. No, you hear these stories of like people in Indonesia or whatever these countries. They have these pet bow constrictors and snakes. And they wake up and their kids, kids gotten swallowed by them. Like it's true. The it's, level of horror you'd feel yeah. is, but it's like you're stupid for having that. Yeah. But the level of horror would be unreal. It's crazy. I would have a pet snake though. I love snakes. I've really? had snakes around my neck. Yeah. I would never have a pet snake. I hate snakes. But what's interesting about that is like growing up, my my mom was so utterly terrified by snakes like she was going to instill in me that i was not scared of snakes so like from a young age i was fascinated by them so like having a python around my neck was no big deal really you had a python on your neck? yeah i was fascinated by it it was cool to me Ugh, that's disgusting they're beautiful creatures no snakes they're beautiful when you they're look the at them grossest like grossest thing ever snakes you've they're never devil. Lo- you've never looked at a snake like in the pattern on their their and like yes like, i have and they're, it's like it's sick. No, they're disgusting. Maybe I hate snakes. snakes. They look cool on like a deer, maybe or a tiger. Like tiger or like lions, they have patterns that looks cool. But not something that's like 
Slimy, no legs. Yeah. Would you rather see a python in the wild or a tiger, though? Tiger. tiger. Give me a tiger. Oh, give, me a python. Python. give me a python every time. <laughs> well, python is well, well, you have to depend, like, you're saying it like... Are they they're, attacking they're, you? Yeah, they're attacking me. Yeah, I would, uh... I could take a python. I've watched a python uh-huh. eat, a, eat a deer on... A tiger I, could t- I cannot take. Tiger. I know, but it would just be faster. I'd like to just get killed, like, head bit off. What's Instead a of, like, a python, What's a python gonna do to slipping me? around you. I'm too. I'm too good at jujitsu. They'll take alligators. Yeah. Yeah. They're nuts. But Logan, you have to think. Like that thing wraps around the whole room. So if you're in its perimeter, or like if you're in its area, it'll snap on you. But I'm yeah, fast. Yeah, it could like, whip its tail. And I'm so hit fast. You in the I'm gone. And you're done. I don't know. It goes for my legs. Boom! I'm gone. I got its head. Rubbing its head in the ground while it's trying to wrap around me. Yeah, don't try me. <laughs> and I poke its eyeballs out and it starts spazzing out, and that's when I run away. Joe Dirt is the kryptonite to snakes around the world. Mm. Yeah. We still want to watch that movie. I'd way rather take a snake than a tiger. I'd hit a tiger and just poke its eyes right away. It's tiger weird. will just maul you. I could take a tiger. Poke him in the eyes. They have so much claws and teeth and stuff. Like, what are you going to do? They say a Siberian tiger is the most dominant animal in the entire world. There's a, a tiger in India. I think it was. I think I, I don't remember where I heard this. I heard it somewhere. There's a tiger in India. There was like three hundred thousand human deaths from these tigers. Three hundred thousand? Yeah, no, in that's, when, that's, that's when, cat. When, when, that's cat. And when? And when? And when? I year don't. Or I want to say. Over time of humans I want to say a year. Oh no no no! Look it up. It's so much cat. Oh, okay, I'm looking this up right now. Just look up most. Not in a year. That's like that you're wiping out a civilization. How many? Look up literally how many humans have been killed by a tiger, like over the history of ever. Where's my phone? No, I've heard Siberian tigers will literally hunt grizzly bears. Like they are the most dominant animal. Are they in, in the nature. same uh, place or no? Yes, in Russia, in over. They're they will. They will hunt down grizzly bears and play with what them. What a weird place to be for a tiger is in Russia. Mm-hmm. It's cold in Russia. So, Logan's know, think 373,000 people died due to tiger attacks between 1800 and 2009. Yeah. Which yeah. I will say, yeah, that's yes, that's people. lifetime, but I will say that's so many people. Is that Tigers have yeah, an alpha Was that in India? No. Just in the world. Logan said in a year, that was nuts. That would be, you know, whole civilization. That would be like number four on the deaths in a year ever. Tigers would be getting exterminated. Like, That'd be like right? number one. No, cancer and heart disease take away like <laughs> everyone. Mosquitoes have the most kills. Really? Yeah, Lime, or a million uh, deaths. Malaria. Africa and South America. A million deaths annually. Mosquitoes. Dude, have you heard about the super pack wolves in Russia? But the most tiger has any killed anyone, Logan, is four hundred thirty-six people. So the three hundred thousand stat is. That's so that's many people. That's Joe Dirt stats. No, that's <laughs> such, that's so yeah, many people sure. though. I will say. Yeah, four hundred thirty. No, have you guys heard of the super packs in Russia? The wolf packs? No. Over a hundred wolves in one pack. How does that work? That alpha wolf super must pack. be such a dog. Super packs, they call them. They would go in like villages in Russia and just take over, eating horses, like everything, humans, just Four hundred people. Four hundred wolves. No, over a hundred wolves. Oh. Did I say 400? I don't know. Maybe I was just thinking of the tiger. Dude, I've had my dog think it was a wolf. Like, it would stand on my deck and just start howling. What kind of dog would you have? Lab. It would howl into the night for like 10 minutes. It probably was a wolf. No, but that's like, we're, like I believe all dogs come from wolves. Well, they well, do. They do yeah. yeah. You don't have to believe that. They do. Yeah. Well, no, I've heard like in Europe there was dogs that were bred. No, I think well, every... Well, like, uh, what do you call it? Those little, those little dogs. Oh, wow, is that so far? No, 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 the in the desert. What are those called? Hyena Prairies. dogs. Uh, no. Coyotes? Bingos. Yeah, like those kinds. Thanks. I, I believe every dog comes from the wolf. Or it's well, in the same not Well, they yeah. do. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. Yeah, or coyotes or whatever. What are we at for time? Yeah, know. should we wrap it up? I think it's a long time. It's like yeah. almost two hours. Yeah, we can wrap it up. This has been great. All right, yeah, that's a good wrap. All right, for who all stayed for this long? If anyone long? stayed that long, comment below. Like, or uh, DM us on Instagram like we want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. a new Easy Boys account. Easy, Easy Boys. Easy Boys 444 on Instagram, on TikTok. 
You're already here on YouTube. Yep. Give us a follow. Be sure to subscribe. Message us. Let us know what you think, what you want us to want to see, what you want us to do. Like we're yeah. we're what out here. We want us to talk about. We're trying to make content. Let's see what happens. What do you want from us? And ultimately, thank you. Thank you. We love you.